guys. It's hot out here. It's like 10 o'clock at night and it's still pretty hot. Welcome back to another uh, super short vlog series on my channel. But um, I'm pretty pumped about this little setup right here. Got the Corrado XG, 200 XG. But I got the little Mike Buka bullshed. If you guys haven't checked this thing out, it's the juiciest little swimmer ever. I've gotten to where I pretty much just fish it like a spinnerbait. Everywhere I would fish a spinnerbait, I just fish that. And um, I've been tearing up the dinks on the 25 high channel. So go ahead and check out the 25 high channel, which will be linked in the description below. This combo that I just showed you, uh, like I said, Curado XG. Um, I've got 15 pound fluoro, the Invisex, Seaguar Invisex. Um, I really want to try out that line because it's like supposed to be like, as the name implies, Invisex, supposed to be more invisible. But um, I normally use primarily use fluoro and braid i don't use mono anymore just because mono kind of sucks but i think i'm gonna go up a size in fluoro next time i buy next time i get a chance to buy some to like 17 just because this has got a little bit too much stretch for my liking and uh that's pretty much it but seven six medium heavy moderate fast so the reason i wanted that rod is just basically for all moving baits and well, i wanted just a basic moving bait rod i wanted a real and the rod combo that I could just chunk it way out there, cast as far as possible. You know, it, I feel like that'd be a good bank bank fishing, pond hopping type deal. Get your baits out far so you can maximize the amount of water you're covering. You know, that, that 8.5 might be a little fast for moving baits, which I said in the last video, but I feel like it'll work pretty good for what I need it for because I'll just reel slow, and then when I get out of the strike zone or whatever, I can just crank it back in real quick. I like doing that. This reel is certainly lighter and it feels less chunky than the DC, but I love that DC. It's the, the perfect top water uh, reel, in my opinion. Thank you, Thermosel, coming in clutch, keeping the skeeters off of me. So guys, the reason I'm getting this little tiny little buggy whip rod out is because it's kind of this is kind of a sneak peek for an upcoming 25 high vid. Had to go on a little bit of a goose chase for the lightest line that I had. A little bit of eight pound fluoro. Now for this technique, I typically like to have like a six pound, six or eight pound mono leader because it's a bit of a topwater technique. But all I have is fluoro as far as light line goes. Like my main leader line is like six to ten mono, and then. Coming off of that, I like to have like a four pound, maybe even two pound, depending on uh, what I'm fishing. My little setup is a little three weight, seven foot White River fly rod. It's not super expensive, nothing crazy. Um, I just wanted something really light for like fishing creeks and fishing pan fish and stuff. It's really, really nice rod for that. It's one thing you guys probably don't know. I really love fly fishing. I just don't do it much anymore. So here it is. That leader might be a little bit long, but basically the point of this, this especially works in like clear water that's maybe a little bit pressured or something along those lines. So you got a fairly, this is a little bit bigger than what I would probably use to target panfish, this top water little fly. Basically what's going to happen is those uh, brim are going to come up and look at this and we're going to be like, ooh, there's a bee on the top of the water. I'm going to go eat it. But they might be a little apprehensive, so instead of hitting that bee, they've got a juicy little morsel on their level, ready to get eaten. Hopefully you get the point. If not, I don't really know how to describe it. I guess like, if they don't want to hit top water, but you can still see them coming up to the top water, they're more likely to hit this than they are this. This is gonna kind of like a tractor, and this is what they actually eat. All right guys, if you enjoyed this super short vlog series this is the second one i think if you're enjoying it please leave a like and a comment go check out 25 high we got some merch dropping or we've already had a merch drop you can go buy 25 high merch go check out cade's channel cade's the other guy on 25 high he's got his own channel as well um y'all go check them out they'll both be linked in the description and we'll see you next time